A ninth grader and her family fearing for their lives. The Harlandale High School student was jumped just minutes after the last bell rang. Tonight, her attackers are back on campus and the teen says she's still being bullied. Eyewitness News reporter Roxy Bustamante spoke with the teen's mother who says the school needs to protect her daughter's right to safety. Screams from a ninth grader as two students beat her in the middle of Harlandale High School while others watched. And with the videos that were presented to me, a lot more brutal. I mean, every person, my family that's seen the video has cried watching it. She had two teachers that cried with her. When Melissa Serna went to pick up her daughter last Wednesday, she was covered in her own blood. My thing was just going to the hospital and making sure my daughter was fine because she had suffered from a concussion. She passed out. Uh, when she was getting the kicks and punches and stuff to her head. The assault was reported to the school immediately and the two students involved were suspended for three days. But in this disturbing video posted on social media, she says one of the students is seen shooting a gun out of a car. As a parent, I got scared and, you know, I don't even allow my son to sleep in his room because I don't know what could potentially happen, you know, as far as retaliation. The students are back in school walking through the same hallways. Serena says her daughter is still taunted and bullied every day. I'm trying to get myself informed on what I can do to protect my daughter. Um, I don't have I don't feel that she's safe, but she does have to go to school. Per Harlandale ISD policy, victims of bullying can transfer to another school. And if a restraining order is filed, the school district will have to work with all parties involved to make accommodations. But I know I'm not going to fail her. I know I'm going to do what I have to do to find all the resources and to get answers and make sure that it may have happened to her, but it's not going to happen again. District's police department is investigating the incident and has filed charges with the district attorney's office and the victim's mother is planning on filing charges on her own. Roxy Bustamante, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.